This is Jack Fletcher Media Productions reporting live and direct at Victoria Centre with the one and only Carl the Cobra Frotch. Carl, how's it going? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Very well, thanks, mate. First and foremost, I've got to ask you the question. George Groves, three, is it going to happen? George Groves, three, is happening. It's happening. I know you're going out for meals and stuff, but are you going to fight again? That's the big question burning on the whole of the UK's lips at the minute. Listen, mate, like I said um, live on Sky the other day at the Canelo, Jacobs fight. I'm going to go back in the gym and see how I feel. I can't make a, a real assessment or a real decision on my future in the sport until I've until I've tasted the um, the sweat and the blood again. So I'm getting back in the gym. I'm going to see how I feel. But don't forget, I'm 41 years old. But I'm a young 41. So I'm just going to just going to play it by. I get back in the gym, do a bit of training. I'm doing a bit of a TV show coming up soon. Watch this space. So I'm going to get fit for that and then see how I feel. Play it real. I mean, I don't even know if Groves wants to come out of retirement. When when would you be looking to make a decision on that? Well. I'm back in the gym almost straight away, so I reckon in the next couple of months I'll, um, I'll know, know where I am physically. So massive, massive night for Lee Wood, big time boxing back in Nottingham again, Friday night, massive fight for him against Ryan Doyle, how do you think he's going to get on? I think he'll be alright, I think he'll do well, I mean Ryan Doyle's a good fighter, he's, um, he's coming to win, he's not coming here just to make the numbers up, and the Commonwealth title was quite a prestigious belt, it was my first belt actually, well I won the English, but the Commonwealth title for me when I beat Charles Adama, that was, that was a real tough one for me, in my first, my first major belt in my eyes, my first toughest test really, and he, he wiped the floor with, um, with the Commonwealth champion, picked up the belt, and um, this is his first defence against Ryan Doyle, he's got to take him very seriously, but Lee Wood's very skillful, he knows his way around the ring, he's got, he's got the experience now and um, by having that belt gives it that extra edge. Being at home with a home crowd and having a Commonwealth strap around his waist, I think he's going he's to really rise to the occasion. I think he'll be okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a decent enough fight for him, but one that I think he'll look comfortable in winning. Have you got a round prediction? Is he going to stop him or is he going to go the full distance? No, I don't, I'm not sure about predictions because um, let's not forget he's at featherweight. They're not massive punches, but Lee's a very skillful, classy operator, so I just think it potentially could be an outclassing job for Lee. And there's another Frotch fight in August at the Motor Point Arena, fighting Derby's Nathan Ward. Massive fight for your brother. How do you think that's going to go? Yeah, I think it's going to be a really good fight as well. I, I, I back Lee, I back my brother. He's big and strong, he's fit. He punches extremely hard. But Nathan Ward, you can't take him lightly. He's a tough fighter. I mean, he's got a high work rate. He means business when he gets in there. He don't get in the ring to make up the numbers. He gets in there to win. And, um, you know, they've got some... They've got a bit of friendly rapport going off, which is good because they can they can enjoy the training and relax in the training, and then they'll both be super fit, getting in, or as fit as they can be, getting in through the ropes. So I'm, I'm expecting a really a real humdinger in August in Nottingham. I'm uh, backing Lee to win. Thanks for talking to Jack Fletcher Media Productions today. We'll see you on Fight Night. Pleasure, mate. Look forward to it. Cheers, Colt.